Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing wait, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Hello everyone, and we are going to be focusing on wait, no, not yeah, again, one no. more time. We're doing rotation reveals. Okay, everyone, let me show you how I made this video while I enjoy a delightful cup of tea. Delicious. So, as you can see, I've already gotten all of my clips out sorted in, in, in the order I want them. That is very important. And the next thing we need to do is, is we need to get rid of the green screen. Now, you can do this in one of two ways. You can either use the color key and drag it over and put it on each clip and then individually take all the different shades of green out of your image. Or you can go down to your ultra key and... Oh, no, there it go, there it is. And simply click on there, and it's completely gone. Now, the next thing we need to do for this clip is to put in a crop. Now, well, you can either put in a crop or you can simply use the opacity, make a, make a rectangle mask and put it around the edges of your green screen. But I'm going to choose to use a crop today. And there we go, hooray for us. Now because the camera does not move for the entire thing, I can simply copy and paste the attributes of my, of my first clip into my other clips. Ta-da! Okay, so now each clip has been successfully green screened. Uh, now I need to uh, make keyframes on the position and scale. Hello. Go forward a little bit. I'm going to mute these these ones because otherwise it's going to annoy me. And once you've made your first keyframes, go forward in the clip a little bit to round about to where you're facing mostly to the left or or to the right, whichever way you're starting to turn. And you simply take your left and right axis and you move yourself a little in that direction. Then when you get to when you're facing camera you go back to your original position. Then when you're facing to the right, go all the way to the right. And then when you're at the end of your clip, round about there, you then make two other ones and you go back to your original position. Well, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Then for your second and third clips, you essentially just do the exact same thing you've done with your first clip and mess around with the position and scale and mess around with the posi position and scale animation. Like so. I should also mention that timing is very important for the for this type of video. For the background, you can do one of three things. One, you can pick a space and you can go in a big circle with your camera walking around with a camera pointing into the middle of your circle. Two, you can put the camera on a tripod in the middle of a space and simply pan the camera around in a 360 motion. Or you can take your, your phone and do a panoramic uh, photo. Yeah, a, pan a pan panoramic photo and put that behind and put that uh, and put that as the background of your footage but like I said timing is very important so for so for whatever you do you need to time it out exactly so it matches the speed of which you're turning around and while I've been talking uh, I have now completed my um, uh, the rotation of all of my uh, of all of my footage and I've also cut uh, and I've also cut parts, as it, as you can see, so it goes from... So for instance, from this first clip, uh, me wearing the brown jumper comes from behind, and then at the cut, I've then moved it up on the timeline, so then, so, so then brown jumper me is now in front. And the same thing with my bl uh, with, uh, with blue jacket me. Starts at, starts, starts at the back, cut, move up, and suddenly he's in front. And the very, very last thing is simply is, is simply the reveal itself. So for this, we need to go to uh, back to uh, back to our second clip, so brown jumper me, and we need to pick a point, let's say around there, go boom, 
boom, and then we make him slightly smaller, let's say 90, and bring him down slightly, there we go, <clears throat> and then move him to the left, yeah that looks fine, and now we take our crop, so you go down to your crop, you keyframe at the uh, at the uh, at, at the same point at the same part that that you will be completely revealed, and then we make another keyframe at the very beginning, and we simply move the value along to, until we're completely behind our first clip. So we need our character to be there. So what I'm actually going to do is, is I'm going to move up these keyframes and make them there. And then move this keyframe up and put it here. Now this isn't an exact science. It's more about it's more about personal preference and where you can hide uh, your effects really. So from here, there's nothing. Then I slowly come out and make a third keyframe and make it values again and another time okay there we go now the next thing we need to do is we need to do that on every other clip so now I'm showing you how to do it on the first clip you know how to do it you know you now need to do it on every other clip when a when when a new version of myself comes in and when a new version of myself comes out I'm not gonna subject you to that every single time so I hope you like time lapses because you're about to get one And there we have it folks, that is how you do a rotation reveal. Now of course you can do any sort of colour correction thing you want to do, but this is essentially the, the effect. This effect can be an absolute slog to get through, but trust me it's worth it. So what I suggest is you put on some good music or a TV show on in the background and you just get on with it. So that is the end of the video once again. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's helped you in any way, shape or form. Do let us know if there's, if there's anything else you, you'd want to see me do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.